Yo, it's been a while since the last time I did my one video a day thing, but uh, I apologize if I lost count, but this is my sixth one, I believe, so. Mm. <sighs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry I haven't been updating you guys lately about what's been going on and everything. It's just that. I'm re um, I ordered my textbooks. So I'll be starting school April 8th at Strayer University online on my Android. And uh, I got my textbooks in a couple of days ago. And basically, I've just been hanging back and relaxing because of monetary issues. And I have to hang back until whenever I get my money. So, whenever I get my money right. But that's beside the point. I caught up on yesterday is Walking Dead earlier today. And. Uh, um, while I was on the computer at home today, I checked out both green bands and red band versions of the upcoming, upcoming Evil Dead that's coming out on the 5th of April. And it serves as a distant, um, reimagined version of the originator back in, uh, back in 81. I wasn't born at that time. And or I haven't seen the um seen a, a whole film series as of yet, which I really should, so don't condemn me for that. And what really shocked me was the was the green was the red band version was really mu was really put much more shock in the value than the green band one, which um which truly um um saved some leeway. Uh, whenever they show the green band to so in theaters and, or TV spots, whatever. But the red band one, all I can say is just, just wow. You, you mean you would never see folks that will pull off some stuff like that, especially without having the use of some CGI. So, <laughs> as low as the budget goes, like when I, whenever you want to make something good, you probably have to go low budget and stuff like that. <laughs> And whenever you break the boss office at that point, you just um you just feel like you should go low budget and try, <gasps> try to make things happen while you're low while you're, while you're trying to make things low budget, especially at a major studio. You know what I'm saying? And um and is I mean that joint's gonna be real ridiculous, like. If none of them horror, none of the horror movies, like, like as of right up until today, has made you start kicking and screaming, I think this one would most likely will. And if I have the money, I'll be there too, just to uh, just to see what the hell, see what the hell's going on. I can already tell it's gonna live by its reputation by having people kicking and screaming for real. <laughs> And so, I heard the heard the budget they went for on this movie was like I think it was around fifteen mil. Yeah, fifteen mil. Yeah, fifteen million dollars. Yeah. So, um, especially out of um, out of um, fucking, especially when you make it some low budget at a um, at a major studio, in Hollywood, and whenever you go past that. Ask that budget, you be rolling in all rolling and rolling and on rolling in on a dough like that. Now if you go low budget whenever it comes to some stuff like that. So you know. <laughs> yeah. All I'm saying is this, there are two more episodes of Walking Dead remaining. I won't even spoil the titles. Nor I'm nor I'm gonna spoil what the hell happened. But I'll tell you this. One of the former one of them who used to be in Rick's group is, I shouldn't say it, I shouldn't say it, but you already know what's going to happen if you saw it. But if you didn't, I'm not going to spoil it, and I'm not going to take it off anyway. And I'm still going to work on, and I still got that novel coming up. It's the first in my series called, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's called, uh, I mean, the series is called The, 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 a, the ADS. Or the Mods Demolition series. Y'all don't even know what the hell that's about. But I'll tell you this. I mean, I'm not going to spoil that for you either. I'm not going to be tight-lipped about that too. Like, I'm working on my first novel in the series. Like, like 
I say I basically say it's gonna serve as a pilot, like they introduce you to um, what the hell happened, what's going on in the town, like the characters. Are you gonna meet the characters? You're gonna meet a multitude of them. It's kind of it, it's gonna be like Lost meets, I say, Lost Lost meets um, some Silent Hill, like 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 it's gonna have some psychological. That post-apocalyptic, social, economic collapse type thing, and it's gonna have, yeah, you know, it's gonna have some, uh, cause you know I'm gonna be, wow, spending, spending my boundaries like as an independent writer. Since I'm independent, I like to go beyond, go beyond, go either go beyond or exceed expectations like far as for myself. So you know, hell of a lot of that's gonna go on. So you already know what's gonna happen in this. And speaking of. Um, um, you know, American Horror Story, the third season title called Coven. Yeah, American Horror Story Coven. Um, that's uh, and and you you already gonna have one one key ass person who you saw in misery, and um, yeah, who you saw in misery is also gonna be a part of this too. Her name's Kevin Bates, by the way. So uh, y'all gonna go ahead and look into that. And is in third one. I think third season is gonna look real ridiculous right around now. American Horror Story Coven tune in on FX, you know, on Wednesdays. And um, let's see what else. What else I have in mind? Um, I did get to check out Evangelion One Point Eleven. You are not alone on Tsunami on the Don't Swim. But what pissed me off was my DVR only recorded thirty minutes of it instead of the whole damn thing. It was on from one one a.m. to like three thirty. You only recorded like freaking thirty minutes of it instead of the whole thing. That really pissed me off. And another thing that pissed me off about it because they don't have it in the library catalog. You know what I mean? So basically, I think I'm gonna have to buy it online just to um, catch up on the whole damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, have the aim back, relax. Basically, that's all I'm going to have to do until school starts on April 8th. That's where I'm going to be real busy with all that and everything else. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get to work. Do some, Probably going to do some research. I did no research, but I know I've taken a lot, all my time on this novel for like five years straight and everything. It's just, I mean, I know I don't want to be a professionist of it, but I'm just going to give it the best I got. So, basically, that's all I have to do, um, tell y'all for now. Just keep looking out. Alright, I'll get you guys later.